Moon Knight episode 4 titled The Tomb and this episode I just I mean the show has been great it's a really great show and this episode being the mummy the Indiana Jones episode the Tomb Way episode where we have like the previous episodes it's been okay we need to go to point A to point B now we're here now we are at point B which is at the certain pyramid. Now, the first thing I will say, what the fuck was that? Seriously, what the fuck was that? Seriously, like, that thing, that walking human dark, like, corpse type thing was that? The guy that was making clicker noises and was attacking our main characters. Who the hell was that? What the hell was that? Because I was like, okay, uh, wait, wait, he's making clicking noises for the last of us, uh, now I'm terrified for our characters and I feel the, 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 the tension. And it had the very first, like, seriously, I knew that a jump stair was happening. I knew a jump stair was about to come out. So I lowered my volume of my TV. And still it happened. Still it happened. I was like, ah, 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 ah. I was like, Jesus, Marvel. This is the first time I ever will say fuck you Marvel <laughs> For making me terrified <laughs> Of course that was the aim And it is like a very natural thing to do Which, you know, the mummy has done this Any version of the mummy, the Brendan Fraser mummy or the T Tom Cruise mummy Whatever you want to pick uh, A child have done this uh, Tomb Way has, has done this And yeah, Jones have done this Where if you deal with Tomb, you're dealing with two things you're dealing with uh, traps, which wasn't really much of a trap. There was no booby trap, step on mines and pyramids and that whole thing, spikes and all that. But or the second thing is the supernatural, and clearly they were aiming for terrifying, and they exceeded. They exceeded. I was just like shock for the last five minutes like for five minutes ten minutes how how many minutes it was and i'm i'm rapping along about a five minute sequence and i'm not talking about the rest of the episode like i won't lie like how the episode began i was like oh really how it ended last week i thought we would just go in marks or marks last steven's head but no steven's awake and we're on to a you know, along with our journey, but then they were like, just wait, just wait, the last, set the first 10 minutes, we'll give you the last 10 minutes and lead to the next week's episode, and I'm like, okay, cool, awesome, um, so, and I would like, the last 10 minutes, I, I really dug the last 10 minutes, like, I really dug this episode, we really liked it, and it is the episode where, okay, all of the information that needs to happen or information that needs to be shared with for the other characters is given to this episode and it's mainly with Mark's wife I forgot the character's name but it's doing with her and it's all the information about what happened to her father and the relationship between um, mainly her and Steven there's a little bit of conflict between um, it's a very really interesting version of a love triangle where it's the same person but the same person has split personality so you know Mark's like that's my wife you better not I will swear to god I will beat you I'll beat us up I'll let I'll let us drop on a cliff and Steven's like but, but, but we're technically the same person I mean you know it's the same people we you know we look the same all that but we're not the same you better not and there's the kiss, Stephen goes for the kiss, and then Mark just goes and gives Mark, uh, sorry, Stephen a girl punch. <laughs> like, you know, the mind has a body of its own, it's just like, boom. So that's, um, that's a very commit. I was like, okay, that's a, that's a, a good sense of humor before everything goes apeshit and uh, before everything goes, turns into a horror movie. But the rest of the episode works really well. The last 10 minutes work pretty well. I would swear to God, if I saw a giant, a giant hippo in a, a Egyptian clothing, I would be a, a, who just said, hi. I'll be like, ah, as well. 
That's 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 what this episode should be called, not the tomb, but that. That's what the, that's that's what this episode should be called. But uh, yeah, you got uh, the end. The last ten minutes is very well done, and the the archaeology find the temple, find the artifact that they've been looking for the last for this entire show is. The journey is there. You can sense the trials, the sense of emotional trials, um, tenseful trials, uh, bruce, gruesome trials. Like this episode, like, gruesome. Like the guy that you know, the blind creature, you know, that that looks like a walking mummy. Probably is a walking mummy uh, or a walking corpse. He's like cacking and whipping and taking organs out. You're like. Disney, everyone! Moon Knight on Disney Plus! Yay! I mean, to be fair, Pam and Tommy was on Disney Plus because they just right yeah, we got Star, so. And that show has a talking penis in one episode. And four on sex and nudity. And when I mean a talking penis, I mean a talking penis. Like, hi! It's like Venom. Hi, how are you? That's literally what happened. So, you know, it's not for me. Seeing very gruesome and meat and like, like organs spread around with blood, I, I was like, geez, this is really dark for the MCU. I mean, for, for the MCU. I mean, they did a movie where the bad guy won and half, we saw half the universe getting dusted away, but we're like, this is bloody and gory. I, it could be interesting. What made? What makes Marvel aside? What gets a movie? What gets a show? I mean, I can kind of guess with Moon Knight because, like, if you look at any comic book images, like covers and all that type of stuff with the character, like it's it gets gory, it gets bloody. I mean, I think the new Moon Knight like anthology book is called Moon Knight Wed Wed Black and Blood or something on, on those lines or Wed, uh, where they just like it's all black and white, but when it's, there's blood, you'll see the wetness of it. Um, so it could easily be like, okay, this character might be a little bit too violent, or the type of stories that this character evolves is maybe a little bit too violent for, for on screen for the theatres, uh, and keep that PG-13 weighing that we need, and what we want, and what the, you know, the high ups would love to have, or keep going and keep having. Um, so we'll make a TV show out of it. It's just interesting, because Moon Knight might be the first MCU show. Because all of these MCU shows, that isn't One Division, because One Division had nine episodes. But Falcon with a Soldier, Loki, Hawkeye, and now Moon Knight has six episodes. They're six episode seasons. And most people feel like you could easily make Hawkeye into a movie. You could easily make yeah, Loki into a movie. It doesn't feel like it. You know, it's needed to be six hours or, you know, roughly six hours television show. Um, and Moon Knight feels like it's justified. It feels like it has a pace. It feels like they have learned of, okay, we got a bunch of movie people doing TV now. And I think now they have learned it. Anyway, I'm going on tantrums. So I really like the episode. We only got two episodes left. Let's see, and we are caught up. Like the critics or the official critics who got to see to see the show a little bit early, they got to see the first four episodes, and now we're all caught up. So the whole world is don't know what's going to come up and what's going to become coming next and all that. So, yeah, it's it, God. This is a really good show. It's really solid. Only four. I only, only had one episode that I went. Over and that was last week, but outside of, outside of it, three out what? Three out of the four episodes so far, I have done it, and this is a a tick for me so far.